story. There is a restaurant with a sign. Come in, eat all you want, free of charge. Your grandson will pay the bill. So a young man, he's a teenager. He goes in happy for a free meal. He eats and eats and eats. When he's done eating everything he wants, the waiter brings him a bill. The young man says to the waiter, no, your sign. It says free of charge. My grandson will pay the bill. The waiter says, yes, indeed, sir. But this, this is your grandfather's bill. Eh? My grandfather's bill. You know, my house was hit from Bush's war. La, I wasn't there, alhamdulillah, but we lost everything. My paintings for the new exhibition, my family's things, everything. That's why I'm living here, at my sister's house. It was eight houses from here. This neighborhood, they bomb. Mansoor, can you believe it? So how smart is this bomb if it bomb a painter? Maybe they think I'm dangerous. Maybe I am. I am attached like I will die if I leave. I think you're dangerous. Americans are not so attached this way. They feel so free, even to be alone. I don't want freedom not to be alone. I like protection. All I want is to feel it. Love. Oh, I am crazy for it. I am hungry every morning like I have never eaten before and there is never enough to feed me. So when I find more, I risk everything for it, oblivion even. I don't care, I submit completely. Still I'm empty. I never feel worth because I shouldn't be so hungry because others, they are not so hungry or they can control it. I cannot control myself. I cannot keep my mind from flesh. I tell you, even when I fell in love, no, not with my husband, after I was married. Really, really, I fell in love. Now, it humiliated me to finally see how much of myself I could never be. I hated not to be full, not to feel whole. It's the worst feeling, this occupation, to inhabit your body, but not to be able to live in it. So I had an affair. Oh, <laughs> I let myself love him. We were just a boy and a girl. We were in art school. We were painting, drawing, very expressive. You cannot imagine the freedoms. We had teachers from all over the world coming to Baghdad. I was very messy. And when my husband found out, he shot me. They thought I was dead. Like even in the emergency room, I'm saying, no, no, it's me with the gun. It's me. It was accident. We never spoke about it, but he never stopped me from having an affair again. I think most women, they must be so hungry because they love with such a sacrifice. It's an aching. But I tell you, when you're this way, so attached, see, always loving like you're going to die without something. You, you love like an Iraqi woman. Shahrazad. Americans, they have this passion to save everything because they have such a big footprint, they feel guilty. They're such a handsome teenager, so tall and strong, passionate, selfish, charming, but they don't think. You have our war now inside you like a burden, like an orphan with freedom, intelligence, all opportunity and choice, yet we tether you to something so old you cannot see it. We have you chained to the desert, to your blood, you carry it in you, it's lifetimes, and you fight your war to unchain yourself. You come back, you feel at home here, see, maybe different, maybe more than in your country, but I know you hate us too, because you cannot breathe, because we are not free. You are not free, you love too much, it's the same all. Anywhere you live, if you love like an Iraqi woman, if you love like you cannot breathe,